Hello everyone, and welcome back to Plane. Today is day... Aren't we impressed? You know, I am. <laughs> Three days in a row of meditation. That's pretty good for me. Um, so let's reward ourselves. And to be fair, even if I didn't have a streak, I'd be talking to Fox today to find out what happens in chapter four. So, chapter four, time forgotten. Of course, friend. Are you ready? Yes. You're making great progress, Wanderer. Do you have another question for me? How is it possible for everything to stop growing? By making existence forget time. Huh. How do you forget time? It's not just... It's not time just what is remembered. Huh. Huh. Ah, yes. Our memories give us a sense of time. That could be true, yes. Time is just an idea in our mind. That could also be true. That is true, yes. Okay, tell me. How was time forgotten? Okay, tell me. How was time forgotten? The foolish fool made existence forget what time is. How could he do that? Like me, there are many other guardians. One of them is the guardian of time. Why does time need a guardian? Let me guess, because of people like the foolish fool. Because time must be perceived in order to be experienced. If we don't see it, we don't experience it. The guardian makes sure that we always see it. Then what happened? How was time forgotten? The foolish fool got rid of time by putting the guardian of time to sleep. Okay. Without this guardian, existence no longer has time. This is how the sun stays still, how the trees stopped growing, how the birds went away. I want to meet this guardian of time. If I can meet him, then I can possibly wake him up. Oh, this is possibly even more interesting. How did he put him to sleep? So how did the foolish fool put the guardian of time to sleep? The foolish fool is connected to all the guardians. How? Because he used to be a guardian. Oh, interesting. So he's no longer a guardian? No, he is much more than a guardian. Huh. What did he use to guard? He was the guardian of everything. Huh. What would you guard everything from? Good question. Nothingness. Ah. Deep. That's the problem. He realized how deep it was. So what happened? Well, one day, nothingness tried to enter into everything. Instead of rejecting it, he accepted it. In that moment, he realized that nothing is everything. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Was that brave or stupid? Well, half the brave things are stupid and some of the stupid things at least are brave. Let's go with brave. It was indeed brave, because he knew that everything came from nothing. So everything was simply returning to nothingness. When he realized this, he went beyond nothingness. So everything is nothing? No, even nothing is a thing. The question is, what is beyond nothing? Oh Lord, you are giving me a headache. After realizing this truth, he was no longer a guardian. He became a fool with a lot of foolishness. How did he get all these powers? He got the powers when he realized the true meaning of what is nothingness, of silence. So with his powers, he made us forget time. That is what the foolish fool did with the emperor's wish. All he did was put the guardian of time to sleep. When that guardian fell asleep, time was forgotten. Why did he do that for the Emperor? Probably because he's a fool. <laughs> How can a fool have so much power? Okay, what I am about to tell you can only stay here in this plane. Oh goody, gossip. Remember, the house of a loud talker leaks. <laughs> I get it, gossip is bad. Although I am sharing it with a whole group of people who are going to be watching this video later, but you're all a part of plane right? And you're not going to gossip about this, right? 
got to promise me before we carry on and actually find out what the, what this thing is. Not everything you hear is good for talk. Okay, I get it. I won't gossip. Tell me. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Tell me. The foolish fool. Yes. It's not a fool. Wow. Mind blown. Tell me more. He makes us think that he is a fool, but no, he does these things for reasons we would never understand. He made us forget time because he wanted to, but he abides by the rules of being a guardian. What's the rule? He cannot act until a person asks him to. Ha! Huh. So the emperor asked him what he wanted to be asked. Yes. Why did the foolish fool want all of us to be immortal? So you could come here, so you would come here to this plane so that I, I could teach you how to meditate. Why? Why not? Look at what you have done so far. You have made the sun move. You have made the trees grow. You have made the birds return. That was all you. But there is more to existence than just me. Are you sure that existence will exist without you? Of course. How are you so sure? Because there are other people in this universe beside me. They exist. In your dreams, people exist. But they are dreams. Dreams aren't real. Then why do you never question the nature of dreams when you are dreaming? We only seem to question the nature of dreams once we are awakened. Huh. What will happen once I bring balance back to plane? Or... Tell me the story about dreams. If this is the story that I think it is, I'm... Well, let's find out. Ah, yes it is. Once upon a time, I dreamt I was a butterfly. Fluttering here and there to all intents and purposes, I was a butterfly. I was joyful as a butterfly, unaware that I was a person. Soon I awakened and there I was, myself again. Now I do not know whether I was a person dreaming I was a butterfly or whether I am now a butterfly dreaming I am a person. Interesting. <laughs> Bring balance back to plane wanderer and you will realize much more about plane and existence. What will happen once I bring balance back to plane? Then you will leave and only the foolish fool knows what will happen next. I want to meet the foolish fool. Yes, I do. You will. He will visit you once you are ready. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's really interesting. That's really exciting. I am really curious to meet this foolish fool now. You mean I get to meet him? Yes. It is very possible. Do you have any more questions? No, that's everything. Thank you. Time forgotten. Now I'm really curious because that is the last chapter here. Is there... Uh, how do I go back? Back. No. Start game. Because I'm pretty sure that there wasn't another chapter in achievements. Uh, unless... Heard your first thoughts. Okay, I've discovered the fourth chapter of Plane. Good. Um, now I'm really curious as to how I would unlock. You have unlocked evolve mode. Huh. Can I go back to the opening menu? Uh, exit to main menu. Evolve. Huh, that's still locked. A massive open world island for you to explore in Rui Forest. You must first finish plane to unlock this game mode. I wonder what that finishing of plane means then. Okay. For the time being, let us carry on. Let us do a meditation for today. And then we will be patient perhaps and figure out and try and figure out what this finishing plane is. Do you think it is about filling that bar up? Up at the top. But I thought that bar was just a day-night cycle. Oh no, that means that the trees are fully grown. Okay. 
So maybe that's what we need to do. Wonder how many days that is. Meditate. So today, perhaps what I will do is I will do one of, oh, that's 20 minutes. Maybe not one 20 minutes long. Oh, that's 30 minutes. Deep relaxation. We did this relaxation one the other day. Sensations. Huh. I'm just thinking. Let's see. That's still a little too loud for me. That's okay. Um, recommended duration 20 minutes. Although in fairness, the plane meditation is also 20 minutes. So maybe what I will do is I will do sensations for 10 minutes. Why not? It's an option. So let's go ahead and try that. Uh, please feel free to join me in this meditation. And uh, I will... I won't say anything through it. I think this is a guided one, so I'm expecting there will be some somebody speaking. And I will come back once the meditation is finished. See you on the other side. Our mind takes what we sense and translates them into objects and gives them names. This is how we know what it is that we are seeing, touching, hearing, smelling and tasting. But behind the objects and names that the mind creates, you'll find completely neutral sensations. And this is what we're going to explore in this meditation. Being aware of our sensations will help us to understand our mind better so that we don't get lost in its interpretations and translations. So let's begin. Close your eyes and allow your breath to fall back to its natural rhythm. Now focus and bring your awareness to just a single sensation that you're experiencing right now. The most neutral sensation that you can always be aware of is your breath. But it could be something physical like your hand on the mouse or even your fingers touching each other. Or it could be something you're hearing like the wind, the birds or even just a hum. So bring your awareness to a single sensation you're experiencing right now. Allow yourself to just experience the sensation. Explore the sensation with your awareness as if you're experiencing it for the first time. Begin to explore all the aspects of your sensation. Explore the space in which the sensation appears. Does the sensation have borders? Does it have a beginning or an end? 
These questions won't have answers. These are just tools for you to explore the nature of your sensations. If your mind wanders away from the practice, then just bring your awareness back to the sensation. Also, if you like, you can click the mouse button or press the space bar when you observe a thought. It's up to you. Feel free to shift your awareness to different sensations when you feel ready. The most natural sensation that you can always go back to is your breath. It'll always be there for you. I'll leave you to continue this meditation. If you need further guidance, then follow the on-screen instructions. Remember, explore the sensations as if you're sensing it for the first time.
Those who would have nothing to do with thorns must never attempt to gather flowers. How true. You know, in that meditation, I didn't realize for a little while that I could and should be clicking the mouse when I had thoughts. Um, so that's why you miss that, but you would have noticed the earlier part of the meditation is I had no thoughts clicked. <laughs> uh, I also noticed at one point that the clicks make different sounds with each click which is not sure if that is a little distracting or if it is quite pleasant uh, to be determined it's also interesting now that i will have to find something oh my progress okay ah uh, okay here's the information i was looking for so we are at level seven. Change time and story chapter. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Wait. Okay, so now we've got... Wait, it says we're already at level seven. So now we've got level eight, in which we will get flowers in story mode only. Does that mean that there is a non-story mode for plane? Flowers will finally appear in your plane. Butterflies. Aren't butterflies beautiful? Yes. Yes, they are. So that's level 9. And then we've got level 10. Unlock evolve mode and plant an actual tree. New game mode. Plus plane will plant a living, breathing tree for you in California. I'm really excited about that. Well, it might take me a while to get there, but... When I, when I do, that'll be really good. I want to check something here. So if I go uh, exit main menu, sandbox. Oh, I didn't try this at all. Huh, there are no trees here. Well, you know what? This is some, oh, look, wolf has come over here. Can I move? Oh, wow, I can move. Huh. That's amazing. You know what? I did not even realize that this was a thing. Well, tell you what. We can explore this next time. So, yeah, something to look forward to. Uh, thanks a lot for joining me. And I'll see you next time.